What's up, everybody? So today I'm going to be comparing my 2020 Dell XPS 9700 laptop to my 2023 Apple MacBook Pro with an M2 Pro chip. I'm a graphic designer, and in the past, I've only ever worked on Windows. So this year, I decided to upgrade to a MacBook Pro um, specifically for the graphics. The way the MacBook handles graphics was the main thing I was looking for in an upgrade. So my Dell is a 2020 model, and you can see it has an Intel core of i5. And my MacBook Pro has a 12-core CPU. So automatically, of course, it's going to be faster. So let's compare the graphics. This is the graphics on my Dell XPS 9700 versus the graphics on my MacBook Pro that has this 16.2-inch Liquid Retina XDR display. So as far as the display, the MacBook wins for me, hands down. Now, this is the brightness. I tried to compare it to make sure I had them both at about the same brightness level. That's the brightness on the Dell versus the brightness on my MacBook Pro. So as you can see here, even with the brightness at about the same level, there's no real way to measure the exact numerical brightness because the Mac doesn't have a number scale. Now, as far as the screen size, the Dell XPS, you get 17 inches, which is bigger than the MacBook, which you only get 16.2 inches. Not that big of a difference, but it could make a difference to a graphic designer. So you do get a larger screen with the Dell compared to the MacBook Pro. The trackpad on both the laptops seem to be about the same size and they do function in the same manner. Now the actual keyboard is a little bit larger than the keyboard space on the MacBook Pro. So the Dell has the larger keyboard. You, they both have speakers on either side of the keyboard and they both have the touch, fingerprint touch ID to turn the computers on and off. Now, one feature I really love about my Dell XPS is it's actually touchscreen. You can touch the screen and, you know, maneuver your objects. This is something that I was expecting from the MacBook, but it actually is not touchscreen. Now, my iPad Pro is touchscreen, but the Mac, no, the MacBook Pro is not touchscreen. So overall, it just comes down to if you're a Windows or a Mac person, they both are very comparable. They have one terabyte. Both of them have 32 gigs of RAM. The screen size is comparable, 17 inches versus 16.2 inches, with the Mac being a better display. Now, of course, there are a whole host of other comparisons that I could do because after all, this is a MacBook Pro, so it does a lot more than a Windows computer, mainly because it works with all of your other Apple products. But for my needs as a graphic designer, I like them both.